So welcome back to another video here in Pennsylvania. And look what we got behind me there, a tunnel. And this is a place I've been to before, but not in that tunnel. It kind of kind of bothers me a little bit, but I'll explain why in a moment. But anyway, we're gonna do a little flashlight review too. This is the TC20 Pro from Through Nights. We're gonna use that when we go exploring in there. Let me show you where we are first. So this place should look familiar to you. This is the Swatera Iron Furnace. We filmed here not too long ago. And down in here, I believe this is where the water wheel was. I believe some water came down through there, hit the water wheel. Of course, the water wheel was used to operate the bellows that would force air into the furnace to heat it up. And, you know, I've been here a number of times, even before I started filming. I always kind of noticed this little opening back here, but I just thought it was a small culvert, no bigger than what you see. You know, I, that's, maybe, that's maybe two feet across and maybe a foot high. It's really not that big at all. So I never really thought much of it until I watched someone else's video. So there's a channel that I watch called Topo Ranger. I believe his name is Brett. I'll put the channel name down here below. But he was here not too long ago. And guess what he did? He went, actually went and explored in or took a look in there. I th kind of think the think, think, same thing I was, that this is a small little opening. But he, when he went in there, it opens up quite a bit. I mean, not like it's not like a huge cavern, but it opened up quite a bit than what it looks like it would on the outside. So I was kind of jealous watching his video and seeing him go in there. So I told him, I, I got to come back here and check this out myself. And just as a side note, um, coming up here soon, I'm going to be filming with him and some others. Uh, some other people I've mentioned in the past, Hiker Dude Dad, there's Topa Ranger, and someone else called a Simply Explo Venturing with Lewis. All three of those, we're going to do a little hike and explore together somewhere. So that's something coming up that you, you'll get to meet them on my video. Like I said, I've kind of mentioned them all three in the past. But anyway, let's quit blabbing. We're going to head in there, test the flashlight out. And I'll probably use a flashlight up in the old furnace too, because it is closed off at the top. I think last time I was here... Um, I'd like to show the brickwork and stuff in there with this flashlight. So, yeah, so this is once again the Through Night TC20 Pro. So, we'll see what it does down in there. So, let's quit yapping and get in there. All right, into the depths we go. Oh, that's cool. It actually angles off that way. Maybe I'll give you just a little bit of a view before I go in there. I'll show you what I'm heading into. I think we'll do that. All right, so let me turn you on here. Let me turn the flashlight on. That's what we're headed into. You can see how it kind of turns off to the to the right there. All right. Let me put you back, and I'm going to crawl in there. Alright, so time for you to come in with me. Might be a little awkward trying to film, use a flashlight at the same time, but let's head in. It's gonna be a bit noisy. There's a lot of leaves here at the entrance, which makes it kind of soft for crawling in there, but let's head on in then. Get the light on here. Yes, yeah, so that's what it looks like in here, but I got Get in there first. Yes, yeah, so this is what it looks like in here. Because it goes under the road. Quite a bit damp in here, but let me. Of course, this flashlight has different settings like all the through night ones do. It's on the highest right now. Let's cycle through them here. So here's the lowest setting. Bumps up then. And one more time. It's a couple different settings. This one's cool because it illuminates for, far down and kind of in the surrounding area too. It kind of has that more larger center beam, as you can see right there, which is good for long distance. And then the other lights up around you too, like a floodlight. All right, so I'm going to set the camera down and make my way down there a little bit. Let me scooch by you here. 
see where this goes. Wait, does it, it doesn't open up anywhere. Kind of gets clogged off here. But let me, this will give you some uh, scale. Let's see how big this tunnel is. Not terribly big. Don't worry, I'll come back and get you and show you what it's down here, what it's like down here. But I just want to give you a little perspective first with me going down here. Not a whole lot of room. Okay, so up there is the way we came in. Let's turn a light off for you there. So let me turn you around and I'll take you down that way a little bit. All right, let's get the light on. Boom, because I have it on the brightest setting. So it does it get a little more difficult to walk down this way. Well, I'm not walking. Yeah, it just keeps getting a little bit lower and lower. So it's just blocked off at the end there. <laughs> Beautiful stonework in here though. If it opened up at the end, I would go all the way down, but there's really no need to. Let's go a little bit further though. It's kind of awkward in here. I just get on my knees a little bit. Oh, but it's <laughs> okay. It's just getting kind of awkward. But there you go. Beautiful stone line tunnel here. I just gotta crawl out of here again. All right, let's head back. Yeah, it's just—it's a cool tunnel, just not the most easy to. A lot of tunnels we go into aren't, but I should have brought my knee pads along, but. It's all good. All right. Now we just gotta get out. All right, so we are out back in the daylight again. Anyway, but thanks to Topo Ranger for being the one to actually show the world that, that there's something actually cool down in there, not just a tiny little culvert. Maybe anyway, let's walk up to the furnace, take a look up through the furnace with the TC20. All right, so we've been in here before, but I forget if last time I was in here if I actually had a flashlight with me to shine up through, because they had the top covered with some plywood just to protect it. So that's what it looks like. So let's get the TC20 out. And boom. You can see all the brickwork, the fire brick that's lined in here. And the plywood at the top. Normally that would be open, but there you go. Without, there's the lowest, hold on a second here. There's the lowest setting up and more. There you go. Of course you can cycle backwards too. And then one more. Boom. So awesome little explorer. I love finding places like that. Oh, I did put a little hole in my favorite shirts. <laughs> but that's, a, that's, that's, that's exploring though. All right, let me show you what else comes with the through night flashlight here before we head out. And as with all through night flashlights, basically, that I show you, it is USB rechargeable. The little USB-C port is up here. You can pull it out. I'm pulling the wrong way. <laughs> there you go. There's the little charge port. And they always give you a charger in the package with the box in case you don't have one. Of course, it comes with a little, I forget to call these, a little lanyard thing and a holster that you can put on your belt or somewhere else. Those always come with every time you buy a through night flashlight. So there you go. The TC20 Pro. Stop, little fella. 
And as always, you can find those on their website, www.thrunight.com. They're also available on Amazon. You can check them out. Just type in Thrunight TC20. And Thrunight does make great flashlights. I don't say that just because they send me free ones. They make good, durable, well-lit flashlights, shall we say. All right. But uh, it's a beautiful day. This is a Monday morning, almost in March, April 3rd. I got some more exploring to do. In our section of the Union Canal, I believe, today. All right, as always, folks, thanks for coming along. Thanks for crawling through another hole with me. As always, we'll see you on the next one, wherever that may be.